Song 414. 414. Please stand. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of praise. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong and true. Where all God's children dare to seek, to dream God's reign anew. Here the cross shall stand as witness, and a symbol of God's grace. Here as one we claim the faith of Jesus, all are welcome. All are welcome, all are welcome in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Welcome, my dear friends, to our Holy Eucharist. We offer our new day to the Lord in the celebration of the Feast of the Basilica St. John Lateran, the Cathedral of Rome. We pray for our Pope, for our church, for our community here to continue to be the holy temple of God. Let us pause, acknowledge our sins, and pray for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great least in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done what I have failed to through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I have chosen and consecrated this house as the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Hallelujah. 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 May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of the scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days, that causes damage to the building, it is irreplaceable, as well as many uh, big cathedrals uh, in Rome and uh, around the world. I think that it's only built by faith, you know. The deep faith of the people motivates them to build all these beautiful, magnificent structures that... that uh, uh, can be admired uh, and enjoyed uh, generations after generations. And so you, uh, if you have a chance to, uh, you know, uh, make a pilgrimage, uh, Rome is a beautiful place to do. I have been there many times uh, as a priest and taking, you know, uh, uh, pilgrimage groups and also with my priest friends, we uh, would go to those places and in, into this uh, huge church and even had a chance to celebrate mass in one of those small chapels in the big basilica. And it is known that this is the cathedral of Rome, of, um, you know, that diocese of Rome has its own cathedral. And uh, the cathedral uh, is seated uh, by our Pope, right? Uh, and Underneath the uh, ground level of the cathedral is um, uh, located a, a wooden uh, altar, very old wooden altar uh, that is known as the altar uh, that uh, was used to uh, celebrate the Holy Eucharist by Saint Peter himself. You know, and so there's a lot of beautiful history there, and so. Uh, we know that this is a, a, a structure that symbolizes, you know, uh, the, the temporal but also spiritual authority of our Pope. All the more reason for us to pray for the Pope uh, dearly, every day. Why? He has so much, uh, you know, uh, weight on his shoulders, right? Not only taking care of the Diocese of Rome, which is a huge task, for any bishop, he is known also, also as the Bishop of Rome, uh, temporal and material and spiritual well-being of the church. No, not only for the diocese, but for the entire world, all the more reason. We pray, especially during these days, uh, for that plenary uh, indulgence, praying for the souls according to the intentions of the Pope uh, and uh, some prayers that we pray together. And we have in our beautiful Catholic traditions many images that would bring us together as a community. The body of Christ, the temple, a holy temple of God, uh, uh, the body, a sacred body and blood uh, at the altar. All of those beautiful elements that bring us together 
And today we celebrate the image of the church building, <laughs> you know, as a holy temple of God. And this building is not the physical building, but from the physical, we gaze upon the spiritual reality and that each and every one of us is a building block. Each and every one of us is a brick or a stone or whatever objects that, that make this place beautiful, you see. So the church itself is beautiful, but you, present, your presence in here, really make it church and more, all the more beautiful, right? And so we have Keith as our uh, finance council chair person here. And Keith and I work very closely together where, and we understand how much effort and resources and energies we have to put in in order to keep this place beautiful, this building nice and clean and safe for you every day that you come and worship God and the, all the ground on the campus uh, of our church. You see, how much energy we put into this physical building. And then all the more reason, how much energy, we asked ourselves the question, how much energy and resources and intention that we need to put into building the spiritual temple of God, which is made of every one of us. No exception. And so there might be bricks that have been chipped, right? Have, have uh, been broken, have cracked here and there. But all of us come together. The Lord heal us. The Lord make us beautiful again. And all the individual bricks are bonded by the faith and hope and love virtues and blessings that the Lord has given to us in abundance. If we all believe that, and we know that, we have all the reason to come back, to form the community, to invite more people, to build a magnificent spiritual home of God. And so from this building, spiritual building of God, flows out the living water for other people. That is the image that Keith proclaimed in the first reading. I have seen water flowing out the side of the temple. Wherever it goes, it forms a river. And along the rivers, there are fruits and trees and all living things that attract people, that offer food and medicine. This is the place. This is the source, my friends. I have a lot of stuff for us to reflect and beautiful and rich images, you see, that from this place, a lot of people may be touched, may be nourished, and may be healed. And so when we are gathered here, we ask the Lord for those blessings to recognize that this is the life source uh, for us uh, and for everybody whom we see today. Please stand. My friends, as temples of the Holy Spirit, we offer our prayers to our loving God. For our Pope Francis, Bishop of Rome, and Pope of the Church, may the Holy Spirit strengthen his ministry as leader and shepherd of the flock of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For all politicians and civic leaders, May God bring them healing, strength, and grace to serve people faithfully. Let us pray to the Lord. For those whose lives have been uprooted because of violence, trauma, or hatred, may God grant them comfort and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. For all gathered here, may God's grace help us to heal and to build the body of Christ 
here in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Peter Tran, may they find a dwelling place among the angels and his saints. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our special intentions to bring, we bring to the altar of God. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O oh loving Mother, you know what we need. We are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your son Jesus, the divine physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you for the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here and grant that by it, by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify your church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as ma the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so without the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, oh, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. 
Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Governor, Bishop, his brother, Bishops, Timothy, and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostles, Saint Elizabeth and Satan, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the word that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom that
Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking in this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. We wish you a wonderful day. Please uh, pray together. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits, 